Hi, I am Amarjeet from Amar PTE classes. Again, I am in front of you with my new video and today's video topic is PTE different section score contribution. I am going to discuss these sections in detail. So let's start with the speaking section. First section of the PTE is the speaking section and speaking section have five modules. First is the read aloud, second is the repeat sentence, third is the describe image, fourth is retail lecture and last one is the answer short question. Speaking section contributes in the another section like listening section or you can say reading section but other sections doesn't contribute in the speaking section. Speaking section have their individual score. So if you are good in speaking then you can definitely get good score in the speaking as well as in the listening and the reading. But if you are weak in speaking then you have to focus on speaking because you can lose your point in speaking as well as in the another section. So first is the repeat sentence. Repeat sentence is the second task of the speaking but it will contribute 32 points in the speaking section only. I am not going to dis I am I am just discussing the speaking section because repeat sentence also contribute in the listening as well. So maximum marks weightage is of the repeat sentence it is of 32 points. Second is the read aloud. In case of repeat sentence, you will hear an audio of 3 to 9 seconds and you have to repeat same audio in your own words with good fluency, good pronunciation, with good content. Then definitely you will get good score in the repeat sentence. And in case of read aloud, it contribute 22 points in speaking only. It also contribute in the reading but I am discussing the speaking section. In case of read aloud, you will see a paragraph on your screen and you will you will have 35 seconds to prepare that paragraph and after that you will hear a beep sound and you have to read that paragraph in your own words within 40 seconds. You will get 40 seconds to read that paragraph. So read aloud is the second contributor in the speaking. Next is the describe image. Describe image is of 22 points. Describe image contribute only in the speaking. In case of describe image you will see a picture on your screen. Picture is of any type like any graph, any picture, any flow chart, any process chart, any flow chart and you have to describe that image in your own words with good fluency and good pronunciation and with good content then you will get 22 points in the describe image. Next is the retail lecture. Now first what is retail lecture? In case of retail lecture you will hear an audio of 30 to 90 seconds and you have to retell that audio in your own words with good fluency and good pronunciation then it contribute 12 points in the speaking section. Last is the answer short question. Answer short question is of 2 points and you will get 10, uh, 7 to 8 questions answer short question in your real PTE exam and you have to answer that questions means only vocabulary will be tested if you speak then you will get points and your answer is correct you will get point but if you are giving a wrong answer then you will get zero points in case of speaking section there is no negative marking if you speak you will get points but if you doesn't speak and you can't speak then you will get zero points means the, these all five modules are the partial scoring if you speak if you half speak then you will get points but if you are not speak then you will get zero points next is the writing section writing section is the most crucial section for some students because of the spellings and the grammar but if you are good in some modules now first I am discussing the writing section writing is first is the write from dictation maximum score contributor but it is the task of the listening section or you can say it is the last task of the listening as well as the PTE but it contribute 27 points in writing so you have to focus on the writing if you write a word correct then you will get one point but if you are not writing correct then you will get zero points means if there is a 10 word sentence in the write from dictation and your 10 words are correct then you will get 10 points so focus on write from dictation if you are weak in 
writing second is the reading and writing filling the blanks reading and writing filling the blanks contribute 22 points in the writing and it is the first module of the reading section or you can say third section of the PTE and it contribute 22 points in the writing and it is the second highest contributor in the writing section in the reading and writing filling the blanks you will you will select a blank means there are four options given for a particular blank and you have to select one correct option if you are choosing a correct option then you will get full points means one point for one uh, one blank but if you are choosing an incorrect option then you will get zero point but there is no negative marking in writing write from dictation and reading and writing filling the blanks now third is write an essay write an essay you can follow the template in write an essay and it contribute 12 points in the writing means if you are follow the templates then you have to just put the correct keywords in the template just justified keywords in the template then you will get 12 points next is the summarize spoken text summarize spoken text contributes 12 points in the writing in the summarized spoken text you will hear an audio of 30 to 90 seconds and you have to write that audio in your words and you will get 12 points you have just put the phrases or the keywords in the template then definitely you can get good score in the writing section next is the summarized written text summarized written text is the first module of the writing section in the summarized written text a summary will show on your screen and you have to write that summary by using the good connectors and the punctuation marks and you will get 10 points it's not a difficult task summarize it in text you just can follow the template and you can get good score in the summarized written text last is the listening filling the blanks listening filling the blanks is the third module of the listening section but it contribute seven points in the writing section so you have to focus on the listening filling the blanks in the listening filling the blanks you will hear a audio and the paragraph will show on your screen you have just see, uh, you have just heard the audio and you have to fill the blanks according to the audio and audio is of 30 to 90 seconds next is the reading section reading section now in the reading section first highest score contributor is the read aloud read aloud contribute 22 points in the speaking and same 22 points in the reading section so in read aloud you will see a paragraph on your screen and you have to read that paragraph in your own words so i can say this is the simplest task of the speaking section means nothing is to do in this particular task you just see the paragraph and you have to just read that paragraph but fluently and with good pronunciation and with good content so try to try to complete the task within the particular time period and try to complete the 100% content in case of read aloud because content contribute in the reading section so it contribute 22 points in the reading section second is the reading and writing filling the blanks reading and writing filling the blanks is the first module of the reading and it contribute 22 points you will see a paragraph on your screen and there can be four to five blanks in the paragraph and you have to choose the blanks according to the context of the paragraph no negative marking in reading and writing filling the blanks so third one is the reading filling the blanks reading filling the blanks is the last second last module of the reading and it contribute 15 points you can say drag down blanks uh, for one particular blank there will be two options and you have to choose that option and there is no negative marking in reading filling the blanks next is the summarize written text summarize written text contribute in the writing as well as in the reading and it contribute 10 points in the reading section as well and this is the simplest task of the writing section you have to write the summary in your own words you just put the correct lines in the template and use good connectors and the punctuation marks 
नेक्स्ट इज दी हाई लाइट इन करेक्ट वर्ड्स हाई लाइट इन करेक्ट वर्ड्स इज दी सेकेंड लास्ट मॉड्यूल ऑफ द लिसनिंग सेक्शन बट इट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट इन रीडिंग सेक्शन एज वेल एंड इट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट नाइन पॉइंट्स इन इन दीज नाइन पॉइंट्स यू कैन गेट गुड स्कोर इन द रीडिंग बिकॉज इन द हाई लाइट इन करेक्ट वर्ड यू हैव टू चूज द इन करेक्ट वर्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू दी ऑडियो मीन्स एट द सेम टाइम यू विल हेयर अ ऑडियो एंड यू विल सी अ पैराग्राफ ऑन योर स्क्रीन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट audio if the words are differentiated with the audio then you have to choose that words and you will get 9 points but there is negative marking in the highlight incorrect word remember this point for one incorrect word you will lose your points means if there are five correct words and you are choosing six words one is incorrect then you can get only four uh, four points next is the reorder paragraph this is the crucial task of the reading section you can follow the strategies you can also see my videos for the different strategies and the different tips and it contributes six points in reading next is the mcq multiple answers of the reading section contribute three points and it it has a negative marking remember this point in the mcq multiple answer you will see a paragraph on your screen and there will be option on the right hand side of the screen and you have to choose that options but there is negative marking remember this point next is the mcq single answer mcq single answer contribute one point in the reading section next is the highlight correct summary highlight correct summary contributes two points in the reading section now next is the listening section of the pte listening section is the last module of the pte and it is the important module of the listening as well as other point of view of the other sections of the pte first is the repeat sentence a repeat sentence contribute 32 points in speaking and 20 points in the listening so remember this point while attempting the repeat sentence try to cover up the maximum content of the repeat sentence because content contribute in the listening section and you will get 20 points in the listening next is the write from dictation write from dictation is somewhat similar to the repeat sentence because in repeat sentence you will hear a audio of 3 to 9 seconds and you have to repeat the same audio in the same sequence but in case of write from dictation you will hear a audio of 3 to 9 second but you have to write that audio in your words and but you can change the sequence of words in repeat sentence you cannot change the sequence of words but in write from dictation you can change the sequence of words and even you can write 2 to 3 extra words and you will get 20 points from write from dictation in the listening section next is the summarize spoken text summarize spoken text is the first module of the listening section and it contributes 13 points in the listening it also contribute in the writing as well so in summarize spoken text is somewhat similar to the retell lecture because in summarize spoken text you will hear a audio of 30 to 90 seconds and you have to write that audio in the template and you will get 13 points for the summarize spoken text next is the retell lecture retell lecture contribute 12 points in the speaking and 10 points in the listening so list, you can say ki summarize spoken text and retell lecture is same thing but in retell lecture you have to retell that particular lecture in your own words with good fluency and with good pronunciation and you will get 10 points content of the retell lecture will contribute in the listening and uh, speaking like fluency and pronunciation will contribute in the speaking section so, so you have to focus on the content also in case of retell lecture and you will get one to two questions in the final exam of retell lecture next is the highlight incorrect words highlight incorrect words is the second last module of the listening it contribute in reading as well nine points and eight points in the listening next is the listening filling the blanks listening filling the blanks contributes 7 points in listening and 7 point in writing next is the answer short questions 6 points answer short question is the last module of the speaking section 
answer short question contribute total 8 points 2 points in speaking and 6 points in listening next is the so, uh, next is the summary and it will contribute select missing word 1 point next is the mcq multiple answers of listening contribute t points but it has a negative marking remember du this during this task next is the mcq single answer 1 point and last one is the highlight correct summary it contribute 1 point in listening so in listening section highlight incorrect words have a negative marking and the mcq multiple answers have a negative marking there is no negative marking in write from dictation summarize spoken text and retell lecture so if you have any queries and any doubts then you can write in the comment box and you can also mail me amar pte classes at the real gmail dot com and don't forget to like and share these videos and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video